In this journey on element types meshing in the importance of a converged mesh, one of the topics that we were talking about was refinement. So I'm going to do this short video now so that we can take a look at some of the options. Specifically, I'm going to utilize Autodesk Inventor Nastran to illustrate some of these tools. So here we are inside Autodesk Inventor Professional 2020 and we're going to take a look at one of the arms of this subassembly. So I'm going to go ahead and go into environments and then I'm going to go over to Autodesk Inventor Nastran. However, I don't want to analyze the whole entire assembly. So I have the arm or one of the arms open already. And again, we'll go from environments to Autodesk Inventor Nastran. And here we are inside the environment. So let's just go ahead and generate a mesh so that we see that we have a starting point here. And one of the things that I mentioned during the text portion of the presentation was that the programs that you utilize will have some sort of starting point. If we go into mesh settings, we can see that it has an element size here. And this is generally going to be based on the volume you should really take this again as a starting point so you can generate the mesh within the geometry look at it and determine if you want to go with a finer or coarser mesh so of course one of the things that I can certainly do if I look at this geometry and I want to have a better mesh or a finer mesh on it I can just either type in a new mesh size or adjust the slider to, from its current setting to a coarser mesh or to a finer mesh so let's go ahead and change the mesh size. I'm going to reduce it a little bit and say generate mesh and we'll say OK. Now that is global mesh refinement, right? Going from one mesh size down to a smaller mesh size. I could run the analysis, take note of what my results are. Maybe I duplicate the analysis and again I change the mesh size and uh, we perform another analysis and see how the results change. What I'm going to illustrate next though are some of the more localized refinement. Now going one level down from the global mesh size change is one that I would consider to be also a local refinement but acting on a global level. So let's go back into the mesh settings and again most finite element analysis programs will have some way for you to control the advanced settings of the mesh. And with Inventor Nastran, the way to do that is to go into your mesh settings and then you can click or access settings from there. And there you will find a number of options for you to control the mesh on the geometry. So one of the things that we can do is we know that we are using the higher order elements by default with the tetrahedron solid elements within Nastran. So one thing that I might want to do is project mid-side nodes. So particularly if you look at the mesh around the hole here, uh, what you can see is that we have elements going around that hole. So it sort of describes that, that geometry, but not quite precisely. And remember that when we go to analyze the model, it isn't going to analyze the CAD geometry itself, it's going to take a look at the elements that we have. So the better that my mesh conforms to the original CAD geometry, the better my results will be. So we'll say project mid-side nodes and we'll go ahead and say OK and we'll generate the mesh again. And you notice now after having done that, the mesh conforms a lot better in anywhere where the geometry is curved. So I consider that a type of local refinement that acts globally. So globally it took a look at the model and determined if there is any curvature where it might be able to move the mid-side nodes uh, of the mesh closer to conform to the geometry. Now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, a lot more local refinement and the way that we can do that with this program, I'm just rotating the model a little bit to see where we might want to have a finer mesh. Uh, this region's probably a, a good location. I, you know, it depends on what loads and constraints you're going to uh, apply to your geometry. And, and perhaps you want to run one as it is here 
uh, as we have it set up now and figure out where your high stresses occur and then you're going to refine the mesh in those regions. But I'm just going to take a presumption since uh, we're just doing a short illustration of some of the options available and I'm going to access mesh control and I'm going to say that I want to refine the mesh just in this area so some local refinement right there. So we can go into mesh control and you can see with the mesh controls that are available with inside of Inventor Nastran that we can select a vertex and refine the mesh in that area. We can select a, a face on the geometry or we can select an edge. So I'm going to go with face data and say select faces and then it gives you some indication about where it's going to refine the mesh and then we can type in our new mesh size. Now what I will say about this is don't hesitate to explore, to, to change the options and generate new meshes until you get it to something that you like. So I'm going to take a guess here and go maybe about uh, a quarter of the size. Let's go to an element size of, of 25 millimeters and we'll say OK and then I just hit generate mesh again and the reason that I say don't hesitate to explore uh, is because it's very easy to change so you can see that we have a finer mesh in that region and when I use the mesh control it adds itself to the menu tree here so if I don't like it at all what I can do is just right click and I can delete it and generate the mesh again and get back to the original unrefined mesh or maybe I want to go even finer so I can just say edit rather than delete it and let's go from a value of 25 down to 10 we'll say OK and we'll generate the mesh again or perhaps you know since we're talking about refining the mesh and converging ultimately upon a solution I could have run it at that 25 millimeter come back and reduce that mesh size again and again ran the analysis and taken a look at what the results are so those are the different options that I wanted to show three different levels there's the global changes right changing the global mesh size there are the advanced settings of the mesh control so advanced mesh settings and then ultimately we also have the mesh control so that we can go in and refine in very localized area areas of our geometry and if you need some more information on any one of these topics you'll note that in each one of the dialogues there's a question mark which will take you to the help on the software so that will give you more information on any of the specific dialogues that you open and each one of those dialogues have that availability to access the help information so that you can find more specific information on all the features that are available there. Alright, thank you.